Hey guys, welcome back to M3 Wood. We are playing the second part of Chad's game. That's your game, buddy. It's my game. Came up with it. I'm sure I ripped it off of somebody, but <laughs> right now it's my game. That's Here's right. how it works, if I can explain this oh, yeah. directly. So it's an irons only game. Okay. And the way it starts on the first tee, we're going to start with a long iron. Okay. So like your longest iron's a four iron. Yep. I don't carry a four iron but it's okay. Hybrids cannot be used. Right. So I can't use a hybrid. Four, five, six, <laughs> seven. You can okay. pick any one of those irons, Okay. but that is the only iron you can use from tee to green on hole one. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. So if I pick a four iron, I got to use a four iron all whole the way time. throughout. Whole time. Okay. Okay. Even putting. Okay. Okay. So let's say we play the first hole and you win. Yep. You will then be given the option of selecting a mid iron to go with your long iron. Okay. So that would be eight, nine. And did I catch a niner in there? Were you calling from a walkie talkie? No, it was cordless. Mm -hmm. And we'll throw pitching wedge in there. Okay. Okay. So eight, nine, pitching wedge. If you win the hole, you can select. So then you're playing the next hole with two clubs. You got two clubs. If I picked a seven iron and then I win the hole, then I can pick eight, right. nine, or pitching wedge. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Next hole, <laughs> let's say you win that one. Uh huh. You then would be able to, to pick one of your wedges. So you're essentially adding to your arsenal if you win. Well, we played four holes. Um, I'm up two to one. Adam just won the last hole, hole four, to kind of get some momentum. Yep. And now we're going to kind of start the whole process again. You get a long iron. I know we we're gonna go through the rules. I'm selecting my five iron okay. as my one club. Yeah. Maybe my only club. Who knows? If I don't win any uh, right. if I don't win any holes. So who knows? I got five iron. And sub so what? 70. Yeah. So then after you if after this hole you can select a mid iron, correct? Yeah, it would go back to those mid irons, so you could go eight, nine, or pitching wedge. Oh boy. But right this is now it's a big hole. <laughs> right now it's just four, five, six, seven. Right. I went five because I played seven the first. Right. The first four. So. All right, five iron. Trying to mix it up. We have a long par five curls to the right. So we're probably realistically gonna see five iron, then another five iron, then maybe another five iron. Chad played his straight. He should be fine, just out there. Wait, what club did you take? Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm rocking my five iron still. He's sticking with the five. I mean, I'm trying, slowly figuring it yeah, out. Yeah, why not? Oh, rip that. It's somewhere over there. Oh, you ripped the snot out of that thing, too. All right, Chad. You're going to go with your five iron, I assume? And I'm, I'm totally regretting it. Already? Well, if I would have hit seven iron, I'd probably be right there. Seven iron to 150. And I have seven iron again. Hey, but remember, this is practice. You want to get better. That's what the game is for, Chad's game. So he's got five iron. He's got about a smooth 230, 240. Liar! Liar! Get back, witch! <laughs> smooth. That one's gonna end up just on the right side of the fairway. Nice ball. About 130 out probably. Again, like, I don't like hitting my five iron, but like that felt really good. I say you're, you're at least gaining confidence in yeah, it. Yeah, that felt great. And I hit it kind of where I wanted to, so. Yeah, that was a good shot. Now we'll see what you gotta do when you have to choke up on it a little bit. Yeah. Well, so far you've gotten to take full swings. That's the thing, man. That's the thing. But you know, it has been said that you have the hands of an Egyptian prince. I have heard that multiple times. <laughs> Lots of people. Yeah. I mean, it's been on the it's been on the channel. It's been on the channel. That exact phrase. Although I'm pretty sure the Puma called you an empress. Yeah, he did. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Who's 
marking their golf balls like this. Yeah, so we have found probably what, this is our sixth or seventh one At between the past two days. About a dozen of them. Yeah, and they're just like blue sharpied all over. So if you do happen to watch the channel. And you're doing this, maybe let us know. Yeah, we'd like to have you on the podcast. Maybe, you know, talk to a guidance counselor. We could talk about some um, some ball marking techniques. Oh yeah. You know? Ball marking guy? I'm not. I'm not. not but it is trouble because I always have to try to remember what ball I'm playing. True. And I never True. play the same brand all the time. True. All right. So Atkins got, got he got lucky because that five iron clipped a tree. It could have gone anywhere. Landed. Had a little backspin on it. Little backspin. Landed in the middle of the fairway for number four. He's got a good opening. Par five. Yep. He's just hoping to get one down there in the fairway. Give himself a chance. Oh, nice ball. Perfect. Dude, that was... Perfect. Get some confidence. Chess game. Yeah, I feel bad because you won that hole and you didn't get to pick a club. Hey, you know, that's the breaks of the game. I just thought about that. That's the breaks of the game. Oh, I just I'm thought... I'm okay it. with it, Chad. I just thought about that. <laughs> Chad finished right on the right side of the fairway, right where we thought, going this five iron. Now, Chad, you normally hit your five iron how far? Well, I'm trying to think. Probably 185? Yeah, say 185, 190. Yeah. So you got to figure out a way to take 50 yards off. In the Yeah, good day, 190, 185, something like that. Yeah. And still try and keep it straight and... Trouble is mostly right. Yeah. Water, right. I'm thinking about just kind of choking down and just doing a normal swing. Not really, just kind of maybe getting about right here. Okay, like a little three quarter. A little her punch. A little punch shot here. Yeah. Uh, that's really good. Yeah. Sit down. Sit down. Ah, oh, that was straight, almost exactly what you wanted. That was a great shot. Thanks. All right, I'm gonna try the same thing you did. Yep, little punch. Go. Go, 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 go. We're probably about the exact same. Yeah. Like, I'm off the back, you're just off the front. But distance-wise, we're probably pretty close. I think I got scared to do that. Yeah. But think, of, okay, so here's what I like to think about. So let's say we're playing regular golf. Right. You hit your five iron. Right. And then you hit your five iron again. If you would have been able to hit like a wedge into the green, exactly. you got a birdie putt. If I would have been able to hit a wedge into the green, probably got a birdie putt. Like, yeah. if anything, with if five irons. more and more... You don't necessarily need to come out and take your driver and swing nah. as hard as you need to. Nope. Just play control. Yep. This is a big hole, just to remind you, next hole is a part three. Yeah. So we are definitely fighting for that win. Oh, that's good. That's really good if it goes. No! All right. It's okay. All right. Well, I just left the door open for Chad. Left mine just short. We'll see what he can do. That's honestly, that's not bad. You're on the green. Gotta be happy with that. That's good. Hit it. Wow, good shot. Good shot. I needed that to hit that stick. Dang. He's got his five iron he's putting with now. This is for par. This is to win the hole. Get in. That's good. Sure? Yeah. This could be the difference. Folks, this... Oh. Yeah. Thought it was going in. All right. <laughs> That's huge for you, Chad. Mm. Huge. All right, so Chad's now up three to one, and I'm assuming you're using your new weapon on the six. Yeah, I'm gonna take a nine iron. 
Okay. A little wind in our face. Yeah. So because Chad won, he gets to choose an eight, nine, or wedge, and he's elected to go with his nine iron for this part three that plays roughly like what, 135? We got wind in our face right now. Hey, you're over the water. Living dangerous. Atkins got five. I barely made it over the water. Did a really bad shot. Oh, Adam hit a good one. Just out to the left. That's gonna be really good. Good shot. I'll take that distance. Yeah. It kicked back towards the water. Look at that. Yikes. Danger play right there. He is just past the water. Pin is in the back, so he does have a lot of green to work with. Let's see what he can do here. Landed just on the green, took a good bounce towards the hole. Go in! Oh! Great shot, Chad. Thanks, All right, so here's Adam. Just missed the green. Really good position here with the five iron. Gonna run it up there. Maybe a little, maybe a little too hard. <laughs> what was that? Dumpling. Gotta make this. Gotta make this to uh, to not allow me to get another club. 90 at least actually played that pretty well well yeah fortunately though it does put me down four to one Ooh, chad's game i'm on dormy baby mm. dormy mm. and you get to add another club to the bag yeah so i'm gonna do the same thing i've got well i've got five mm -hmm. and then i have pitching or nine iron you have nine iron took nine okay so which are your wedges? 50, 54, 50. Gap, 50. Okay, going 50. So, 5 9 gap. And I'm on Dormy. Makes sense in my head. Makes sense in my head. Well, you've got this game figured out right now. Right. You're up 4 1. I know, but it's like, I feel like the first couple holes, I was really hitting good. You were playing very like well. Golf shots. Yeah, back in part then, one. You know, that was a good chip. But. That was great. Thinning. Yeah. Thinning that nine iron. You, you recovered very well there. Honestly, you. par three, you walk away with a par and you only used a nine iron. Yeah. Gotta be happy with that. Yeah. Gotta be. Like I said, it's fun. It's a fun game. Yeah. Puts you in weird positions. You know? For sure. Forces you to hit different shots. Yeah, I would say. I mean, I played six holes with just my five iron. Part of this hole, I'll buy you a cheeseburger. Oh, dang, gluten free? Yes. Ah. Whatever you want. I'll get you the amazing Whopper if that's what you want. That's all the way to Uh huh. If you part it. If I part it, <laughs> what? I know. That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, good ball. Hit it really high. It's fading, but he's fine. I tell you what, I'm getting my five iron up really You high. are hitting it really high. Really high. Really high. Might be a problem. <laughs> Things that we would highly recommend is looking into places like New Level, like Sub 70. Yep. They have really good customer service. Yeah. Uh, they're just really open to working with the customer. Like yep. we've talked to both CEOs. Yeah. And we're just two guys just messing around on the internet yeah they don't even have that big of a platform they'll just no, talk to you they'll just yeah they'll work with you and they want to get what's best for you and i'm sure there are other great companies out there too but those are the two that we've, just those are the two that we've worked with and and right. uh they've been great so. yeah all right let's get back to chad's game oh, 
Oh, perfect. Dude, that's beautiful. Go. He left it just short. It was right on the line, right towards it. Not ideal. Not ideal. <laughs> Not ideal. GM golf there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That is really good. Nice shot. I got to put in a cheeseburger. You got to put, man. Gluten free, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. He kind of chunked that one. Leaving that door open, Chad. Maybe that's him or a squirrel out there. <laughs> See that black thing right oh, there? Oh, yeah, it's way down there. All right, I'm going to run and go get it. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to hit mine. just ran like a half a mile to get a head cover he's dropped 30 times today he's got this for par and for a cheeseburger and to win the hole he's got two putts to win the hole I doubled it and no cheeseburger that's good give it to you nice dope. after running I'm gonna give that to you wouldn't have mattered all right, dude. Hey, yeah. <laughs> you get to pick a club. Uh, Mid iron. I'm gonna go my pitching wedge. Okay, so you go five pitching wedge. Yep. That's all I need, Chad. That's all you need, man. Still dormy too. Still dormy. Way to come back, though. You got any oxygen on you or anything? No. You just strap on. No. Okay. You're screwed. <laughs> Bad though, and you got a you got a club that you can I use can now. Use. This is the first time this entire round. <laughs> Maybe I just go with the five iron because I'm just feeling it. Yeah. Maybe not. Great shot. Great shot. Oh. Stay up there. Trickle down to it. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Oh. See. This is the unfortunate part about this hole. There's just no reward. That was a great shot, right at the placement. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. You wanna watch me go? Yeah. Rally? Yeah. Rally? Rally. I mean, if you get this anywhere close, you're gonna end up winning. So this is a tricky green. Get in the hole. Oh, that is a great bogey. Beautiful way to finish it. All right. All right. Hey guys, go ahead. Hey right, man, that's Chad's down. game. Yeah, so yeah. Chad just won. Would it be three and one? Sure. I think so, because you ended up winning this last fall if I just missed that shot. I gave putt. that to you. We tied it. Okay, so two and one. Either <laughs> way, Chad closed it out on the eighth hole. 
Uh, I had a great time playing. Uh, we've said it before, but it's a game that we recommend. I mean, Chad stated earlier, it's to help build you with clubs that you don't normally use from distances. Yep. Develop your touch, your hands, like when you have to shorten up a club, when you have to grip down on one. So it's a great game. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. Oh yeah, please. If you haven't seen part one, go back, check it out so you can mm -hmm. see kind of how we got to this point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're gonna keep playing. Fun game. So uh, we recommend for you guys to go out, check it out. Thank you, see you later. All right, so backstory to why that head cover is so important to me. My wife actually got it for me for my anniversary. I don't know, I don't know why it keeps falling off. It's actually on top of another head cover that's designed for the club that it's on. So it really shouldn't. Um, if you haven't caught on, I've been calling it a different name every time. But if you wanna comment below what we should call it, let me know. It needs a name, it is a gorilla. Go with your gut. Oh no! Don't wanna lose that guy. You can't lose Betsy. And I just think the fact that we've played two days in a row. Lost Gregory again. He's Chad's got the eagle eye for him. Hard to, he's hard to miss. Oh shoot, Gregory's gone. Had to go get Gaston. <laughs>